Welcome to Del Bianco Prosthetics and Orthotics Education Series. This video will cover pin locking suspension for transtibial prosthetic users. Always follow your doctor's and prosthetist's instructions if they are different than those shared in this video. We would like to thank our friend Patty for helping with this video. Basic understanding of prosthetic terminology will be helpful. For our instruction, we will use a temporary test socket. Test sockets are clear plastic devices used for diagnostic purposes. Using a test socket in these videos will help us illustrate the way in which the pin and locking ne mechanism interact. The customized rigid portion is called the socket. The gel sock that is placed on and protects your limb is called a gel liner. The pin on the end of the liner engages with the locking mechanism that is fabricated inside the bottom of your socket. The tube clamps and pylon connect your socket to your prosthetic foot. To don your transtibial prosthesis, roll on your gel liner. This is done by turning the gel liner completely inside out, centering the liner on the bottom of your limb, and then rolling the liner up, taking care to avoid wrinkles or air spaces. The liner should extend above the kneecap several inches. Excess liner can be trimmed by your prosthetist if desired. Next, make sure the pin is in line with your leg and place your limb in your socket. You can sit with your knee at 45 degrees and push into your prosthesis. As the pin engages with the lock, you will hear audible clicks. It is recommended, especially for first-time prosthetic users and bilateral prosthetic users, to get two clicks before standing. If you choose to get clicks while standing, remember that the prosthesis is not attached to your body until the pin clicks into the lock at least once. Once you hear a click or two, carefully stand and shift your body weight to the prosthetic. You will hear the system click several more times and then stop. When the clicks stop, you are completely in your prosthetic socket. You may now proceed with walking and other activities. To remove your socket, depress the button located near the lock mechanism and hold the button while pushing the prosthetic away from your leg. It's important to note that the button must be depressed until the pin is completely disengaged. Prosthetic socks are a critical com component of pin locking prosthetic systems. The socks come in three different thicknesses referred to as 1-ply, 3-ply, and 5-ply. These socks are designed to help you maintain a proper socket fit. Over time, your limb may decrease in size due to muscle and tissue atrophy. Throughout the day, using a pin locking prosthesis will also push fluid out of your limb, decreasing the volume of your limb. Socks replace this volume loss and prevent discomfort. It is not uncommon when using a pin locking prosthesis to stop throughout the day and add socks. To use socks, place the sock over your gel liner. Be extremely careful that the pin is completely free of any sock material and pull the sock up above your knee. Then place your limb in your prosthetic as instructed. How do you know how many socks to use? The prosthesis should be comfortably snug and you should be able to get all the clicks you normally do. Use the different sock thicknesses to achieve a perfect fit. If needed, you can place two socks on top of each other, such as a 1-ply and a 3-ply if a 5-ply is too tight. If your socket begins to become uncomfortable after a few hours of use, it is a good idea to check and see if you need additional socks. If you have too few socks, the prosthetic will slide on relatively easily and likely be painful during use. If you have too many socks, the prosthesis will be painfully tight and you may not be able to get any or all of the clicks as demonstrated here. If you roll on your gel liner with a pin misaligned, your leg as shown in this picture it is likely that the pin will not engage with the lock. This can be very frustrating. In our video, we are using a clear test socket to demonstrate this, but in your finished prosthetic, you will not be able to see if this is what is occurring. If you can't get any clicks and the prosthetic is not too tight, then it is likely the pin is stuck on the edge of the lock mechanism. You will need to remove the gel liner or place it on your limb with the pin perfectly straight in line with your leg. When donning your prosthetic, most patients need to keep their knee at approximately 45 degrees. This clip shows what happens to the pin when you keep your knee at 90 degrees while trying to don the prosthetic. Even with the pin properly aligned, the 90 degree position of the knee causes the pin to, be, to become stuck on the lock mechanism. As soon as Patty moves her knee to 45 degrees, the pin easily aligns with the lock. This is why some patients choose to stand when donning the prosthetic without getting any clicks first. If you choose to do this, be aware the socket is not connected until clicks occur. When using prosthetic socks, the pin must be totally free of the sock as shown in this picture. You can feel the pin and pull the sock until you are certain the sock will not interfere with the lock. 
If you don't do this, as pictured here, the pin and sock will enter the lock mechanism and it is possible the system will become stuck and you will not be able to easily remove the prosthetic. If this does occur, you can have someone depress the button and pull the prosthetic firmly away from the body while you grasp the sock with two hands and pull toward the body. This may allow you to remove a prosthetic that has become stuck on your body. If this does not work, it is best to wait until your prosthetic office opens and go in for an emergency visit. If you are traveling in America and many developed countries throughout the world and experience problems, you can easily contact local prosthetic and orthotic providers for assistance. If you are heading to remote areas or places unlikely to have prosthetic facilities, it would be helpful to talk to your clinician before your travel and make sure your socket is in proper working order and be educated on routine repairs or adjustments. Every prosthetic system has pros and cons. No perfect system exists and no one system works for everyone. Consider our additional videos for suction and vacuum prosthetic suspensions to learn more. Pin locking systems are easy and reliable. They have very little effect on knee motion compared to other systems and they can handle changes in limb volume better than most. However, some patients have difficulty or discomfort with the pin system. For example, these systems inherently result in minute up and down motions within the prosthetic while walking. These motions can be uncomfortable for some and play a part in decreases in limb volume throughout the day. The pin system has a greater limb volume loss than other systems such as suction or vacuum. And as a result of this, they require socks to be added throughout the day to make up for this loss. Some patients report starting the day in a zero ply fit and moving up to as much as eight ply of socks if they are walking an extended period of time. Over time, this can change the shape of the leg and result in more difficult fits down the road. We would like to thank Patty for her help. Thank you very much for your time today. This instructional video is meant to cover the basics of transtibial pin locking prosthetic suspension. The material presented here will apply to the vast majority of systems available today, but is not inclusive of all the technology available to patients. Del Bianco Prosthetics and Orthotics can discuss technology specific to your needs during your visit with one of our clinicians.